My name is Kuro Sholdi. I'm a senior principal with Stantec. On the side, I also happen to chair the U.S. delegation on all the ITS standards and on international harmonization. So I've been around the transit, public transportation business for over two and a half decades, and I would love to see how I'm going to sell to my general manager a new way of planning, implementing, operating, maintaining, when the key to the general manager of any transit property here in this land, where am I going to get the money to buy the next bus? How am I going to get the driver out, and how am I going to reveal with the union? That is not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to take Allen back to 1988 and the cover of Time magazine, September 23rd issue. I, just re I looked for that last night. We've been thinking about solving this issue for at least since 1988. What have we accomplished? Issues are no. Charts were shown that Highway capacity is not increasing where the demand is. We'll continue to do so. We had a short uh, relax from average VMT going down, but it's going back up. Country is going to add another 70 million by 2050. These people are not going to bring their buses, their trains, their roadways with them. They're going to bring their automobiles with them as we know them. Where I live, Dallas, Fort Worth region, on an annual basis, adds 147,000 newcomers. Now, imagine what kind of congestion we are faced with. That's just an average. Funding is going to remain an issue. Late last night, the House approved $325 billion six-year highway trust fund act, funding it for only three years. We need to see what the import-export rules are going to be and how much of it is going to come towards research, public transportation, and whatnot. Environment has, remains an issue. I did talk about the population growth. Millennials, what are we going to do with them? Word had it, they do not want to buy cars. I don't understand how they're going to go on dates on a bus. But last July, numbers came out again. 28% of the newest auto purchases went to millennials. Urban areas revitalization is ongoing. 11 mega regions throughout the country have been identified. Why do I need to have two car garages if shared cars are coming to market? The connection between transportation and land use is going to be significant for the years to come. And the impact on public transportation. A lot of people are saying it's going to go away. Let me submit to you it's not. Public transportation is not going anywhere. We'll have to reconfigure itself to live within the new ecosystem. And that's why we're talking about here. Shared rights, shared mobility, whatnot. And all the things you guys, your bright minds, are talking about. The personal rapid transit. Let me introduce what's coming to the California, to San Ramon Bishop Ranch, by April next year. This is modeled after the City Mobile 2 in Europe. Easy Mile, a French company. We've entered exclusive agreement with the Gomentum station in the Contra Costa County and they will be providing two of these vehicles which have been in use throughout Europe, three or four places that I know of, successfully. Driverless, but their use will be limited to office parks, shopping centers, activity centers, whatnot. They're not line hell, they're not fast, they're not going to carry a heck of a lot of people in a very short period of time. They're the last mile, first mile solution, a solution to the issue. I'm going to be covering very quickly all those things on the agenda, and I'm going to be brief on them. Concept, driverless. I don't want to go through it. You all know what the driverless vehicles are. Uh, radar, LIDAR, ra and GPS-based, all the things that needs to have sense your surrounding and be able to autonomously and automatically operate your vehicle. Also, they're going to be relying on the traffic control devices. As you well know, the combination of three systems in the world of ITS is going to be needed for level four, level five automation, and that is for sensing, seeing, and uh, recognizing the lane lines, 
the traffic signs, reading the speed limits, and whatnot on them. But thank God we're not going to have those problems here in the uh, California weather. Station hub, docking station, as a lot of examples of them it was shown throughout all the presentations you all seen today and yesterday. Nothing different than these things. Uh, basically, it's going to be for the first mile, you're going to call them, they're going to come and pick you up, and the reverse will happen in the afternoon in your return trip. But biggest hindrance to transit has always been wait time, transfer time, and having to transfer. The seamless connection that this system will provide is going to address at least two of the issues that transit has faced over the years. And I have transit gurus sitting in the audience who can vouch for that, actually. But this last mile situation being the solution will be what we are looking at. So basically, the steps and processes and procedures that the machine and the car will go be through and through is going to be the same for the first and last mile. First mile, passenger requested to come and pick it up within the given time period, within a given distance. The cloud system base receives the information, processes it, and the OD analysis and the travel time will be announced. And this, the system will manage their time to pick up the passenger, the transit patron where needed. On the reverse, the same thing happens, but the reverse happens when the passenger is on the train, is on the transit system itself, again requested, and within the station when they uh, get off the rail system, they can be taken to their uh, destination. Now, of course, kiosks will be available for those without the smartphones to call up and request the service. Benefits. Last, I left the transit industry about two years ago after a 25 year planning and building and operating them. The last one I had to do was 1,836 additional parking spaces next to the freeway facility. By golly, it would have been nice not to have to do that, having to go through a right away environmental issue and clearances and permitting. This will eliminate the need for parking, additional parking at stations. Possibly some transit centers, possibly, not necessarily given, but possibly, reduce the costs. It will provide the first mile, last mile, and what transit is always looking increasing ridership will enhance the ridership will improve the experience of transit tod transit oriented development will be uh, promoted by use of uh, the systems for the first mile last mile because more patrons will be attracted to, to transit more real estate developers seeing more foot traffic will be more interested in that it's short to time frame to implement because you work and operate on the existing infrastructure. There is no new infrastructures needed. We go through an evolutionary process rather than a revolutionary process. The electrical engine and electrical support system will improve your environment. And the fare box recovery ratio, no one system in this country makes any money. No one system. The best of them all is not even reaching 40%. None of them. They will just improve it. Rather than losing 40%, you lose 38%. Capacity 12, crush load, six seated, six standing, speed 20 kilometers an hour, maximum speed, just like we say in the light rail transit business, we can push it at 95 miles an hour in the tunnel section, but do we? No. Average speed of a light rail system is 22.1 miles an hour. Maximum speed, 40 miles. Expect to see it in operation no more than 20 kilometers per hour. Propulsion engine, 14 hours of operation. A battery, lithium, length is about four meters. Uh, almost less than three meters in width and 1,700 kilograms of payload. Software, obstacle detection, navigation, path planning, V2V and V2I applications. For fleet management and safety and cybersecurity is the most. We are doing this in light of the facts of the uh, knowledge for regional, national, continental interoperability. We do not want another toll road fiascos on our hands. That is where the US government is going. That is where the nation is going. We're going to follow suit.
That was the announcement we made in Bordeaux that the Gomentum Station in Contra Costa County is an exclusive agreement with Easy Mile. Just a couple of pictures. I promised them to show it, and I'm going to. Here are some of our people with the press releases and whatnot, and I definitely said we'll have the secretary up to. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much for your time, and I appreciate your attention.